rate of economic growth. Okay, so I would argue we, we are really at the horns of a, of a dilemma here, a climate energy conundrum that is a major threat to any city that doesn't have a plan B. So the first option is, it is to rapidly decarbonize, which is what the uh, adhering to the uh, climate agreement schedule would be all about. 8% reductions starting now for at least the next five or, no, five or seven, eight or nine years to 2030, that gets us down to half of our current emissions, and then we'd have to eliminate the rest by 2050. But if we do that to avoid disaster, climate change, we risk and, I, and these things sound extreme to many people, but I'm just taking them from the literature. I'm not making anything up here. I'm just the literature. And it suggests inadequate energy supplies, broken supply lines, food and other resource shortages, local famines, reduced production, declining incomes, rising inequality, widespread unemployment, civil unrest, abandoned cities, mass migrations, collapsed economies, and geopolitical chaos. 